Hi, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make the tiger stripe rainbow loom bracelet out of rubber bands, black and orange. You will need the loom hook. That's what it looks like with the cap off. It's called the crochet hook. Black and orange rubber band. And one C-clip. I don't know if you can see it that well, but that's the C-clip. There. First, you're going to move your rainbow loom evenly. So, it's going to look like that. It's going to be even, and make sure the arrow is pointing forwards. Then grab one orange rubber band, take it right here, and put it to the left, and push down. And then take another orange rubber band and put it to the middle, and push down. Take another rubber band, put it to the right, push down. And then you are going to take two black rubber bands and put one right there and one right there. So it looks like that. After you do that, you're going to take three more orange <coughs> rubber bands, and I have one right here, so that's three. And you're going to go in the opposite, the opposite way, so it's from the left to the middle, the middle to the middle, and then the right to them. So then it looks like this. Then you're going to push right right there on each side, right there and down. Take two more black rubber bands. Put one from this side to this side and this side to this side. It really doesn't matter what side you start on, but yeah. And then two more black rubber bands and put one here to here and here here. Again, it doesn't really matter what side you start on. Then it should look like this. I will show you one last time. So take three more orange rubber bands and go from the left to the middle. The middle to the middle. And then the right to the middle. Then again, you are going to push down right there. Take two more black rubber bands and put one from there to there. And there to there. And then take two more and put it from here to here and here to here. If you aren't getting this, then roll back the last clips played. Continue this pattern until the end. This is what it should look like when you are finished. But as you can see, I left the peg, so you're not going to do the last one. So then it looks like that without the last one. I'll show you what to do for the last peg. For the last peg, you're basically going to do what you did right here, but a little differently. So you are going to take it like that. There. 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 To there. And then you're going to take one black rubber band and put it straight across. So then and it looks like that. After you do what at, what you have to do at the end, turn your rainbow loom around. Now we can begin to hook. To begin your hooking, you're going to take your left bottom bottom left rubber band and bring it to the middle and push it down. And then you're going to grab your middle rubber band and put it to the middle. And then you're going to grab your right rubber band and put it to the middle. So then it should look like that. <clears throat> Next, you're going to go under and grab this rubber band. So go under, grab that rubber band, and put it to the middle. If it falls off, it's going to be okay. All you do is you take it and you push, pull it back on the peg. Do the same with the other side. Now it looks like that. Next, you are going to go under, over to the left, grab this one, put it right here, go over to the right, grab this one, put it up here. Looks like that. Then go under all of these, grab this rubber band right here, and put it over there. So it might be a bit hard to find it, 
button. Try and find it and put it over there. Then grab the middle one and bring it to the middle. And then grab the left, right one and bring it to the right. Then it looks like that. <laughs> After that, then grab this one over here and put it to the middle. And then grab this one and put it to the middle, like that. I will show you this about two more times. So, go under here, grab this one, and put it where it came from. Basically, you're just going to put them all where they came, to where they came from. So, it's left, middle, and then right. And then, go on to the left, put that there, right, put that there. And then, go back to the left, take that and put it there, then go back to the right and put that there. I will show you this one last time. I don't know if you could see there, but I'm going to show you one last time just in case. Go under here, grab this one, put it to the right, or no, the left, grab the, this one, bring it to the middle, grab this one, and put it to the right. Let me get it. Grab this one, put it to the right. And then grab this left side, put it right there. Grab this right side, put it over there. Then go under here, put it that one to the middle. Put this one to the middle as well. If you don't get it, then if you don't get that pattern, then roll the last few clips. Continue this pattern until the end, until right here, those three pegs. This is what it should look like when you are finished. And then there's the top that I, we didn't do. You are going to take this side and put it right here. Go down here, grab this one, put it here. Grab this side, put it to the middle. So then it should look like that. We are almost done. Take your hook, um, go under that peg, reach out. I don't know if you can see the, the pegs right here. Take one black rubber band, it's got no rubber band, put it on the thing. Then you are going to hold it with one, pull it up and through and then put it on your hook like that then don't put it right there but put it right here on the back gripper just to be on the safe side now you can take it off your tablet most people think it's really hard to take it off the template but if you do it carefully, like if you practice a lot, then you'll get it. And it should turn out fine. I took it off my temple. That's what the back looks like and that's what the front looks like. You're going to be wearing it on this side. That side right there. Now you can move the, flip it around and move your template back to its normal way. After you move your template back to normal, <coughs> and then you are going to take an orange rubber band and put it straight forwards. Then a black rubber band, then an orange rubber band, and then a black rubber band, black, orange, black. Orange to however high your size is. I'm wearing my bracelet. I just put it. Okay, so I'm doing mine to about there. Then you are going to turn your template around. 
after you turn it around, you can see right there I ended. You're going to take your rubber band, put it on that one and that one. And then hook it. Like, so I'm going to take that orange one, my last one, put it right there like that. I'll try to show you. Then like that. Then like that. So continue that pattern until the end. And you are going to, when you finish, then you are going to take your C-clip. I don't know if you can see it that well, but. And then put it on there. I sort of have trouble because I don't really use C-clips that much. I use S-clips. But yeah, so. Okay, I got it on and I'm holding it. If you can see a little, then just rip that off. And then connect it right to there if you can right there like that and then there's your bracelet okay. sorry there's your bracelet and there you have it your tiger stripe bracelet Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and rate. If you have any comments, you can um, private message me on Kick or just comment down below. Thanks.